Well, thank you so much for taking your time to chat with me today. We're seeing you here in season two of The Head. Was there something about the character or the series itself that really interested you in being a part of the show? Well, a little bit of both. Um, we, before I got the script and everything uh, and a formal proposal, they said they were interested in in, in me uh, to play one of the characters. And I didn't know anything. This was probably end of 2021 when they reached out to me and uh, they sent me a link so I could watch the show from the first season and I just I watched two episodes uh I I watched the whole thing but I watched the first two episodes and I called my agent and I said I want to do this this is amazing this is the kind of genre that uh, I really like I'm really into it as a viewer and I want to be part of this then it added up the thing that, you know, I was going to work most of my things with Hovik, which I have high regards for. And we're really good friends. Um, we did the press junket of Money Heist together and it was just a blast. And I never had a scene with him in Money Heist, but uh, in the press junket, we had such a great time. I was like, I want to work with that dude. So we were going to play the brothers. Um, and uh, it was a very kind of like ma mouse and Mice and Men, what is that movie? My, of Mice and Men and it, that kind of relationship. And I really wanted to go into that, explore, you know, a more, you know, let's say good character rather than the evil Arturo. And uh, I took it and I took it and I decided, yeah, this is going to be great. This is going to be huge. And I think we've made season two even better than season one. So that's what they say, the people that have been in both. <laughs> It's a, it's been a treat for sure. Are you able to tease anything about the backstory you were given for your character for the head? You know, I just said it. The 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 the, the closest thing I think is a homage to, um, you know, of mice and men that movie with Gary Sinise and and John Malkovich playing the brute, and uh, and I think um, and I think it came out pretty good. I mean, I can't really tell you a lot a whole lot about the story more so that it's it follows season one in a mm -hmm. sense that um you know so this is not a spoiler but if somebody hasn't watched season one please you know pass this fast forward this but it continues with the the um, john lynch's character trying to find uh this algae to cure uh war global warming so it's it's still the same kind of premise but then it just goes so much more. And we're in the middle of nowhere in Point Nemo, the farthest place in the whole world. The closest thing to us, human being to us, is the people at the international airspace uh, base. So, um, so yeah. And uh, it's just so adrenaline-driven, such a twist every other second, every other minute, every other scene. Sure. Uh, it was just great. To and, uh, and to have such an amazing cast and and the, the two Jorge's, the directors, they're just so great. They had such a clear idea what they wanted. And not to mention the screenwriters. Um, it was just, um, yeah, it was one of those things that I think uh, season two is even better than the first one. So I encourage everybody to watch it. You touched on it a bit about getting to work with some incredible people in this series. Are you able to tease some episodes then that you want people to look out for? Or is every bit of the season, uh, every episode, I should say, of the season, edge of your seat watching? Well, because it is this kind of show where, I mean, you know, for obvious reasons, you got to start watching it from season one. Or rather, if you don't want to watch season one, which I think you should, uh, people should watch it in order. Because, I mean, there's, you know, I have favorite episodes, of course, but um, the six of them are very, very well leveled. And you need to watch them, all of them, in order to follow the story because it just kind of like one links after the other or feeds of the, of the previous ones. So, yeah, uh, I'd say, I don't know, I love episode three. Just That's just me, uh, but you'll see why. Uh, has to do with my character but uh yeah all, all of them all of them are great 
I can, I, I, I this is the problem with, with, with <laughs> actors. And stuff like that. It's like, you're always like double guessing what you can say or what you can, but <laughs> sure. all, of them, all, of, all of them, I would say they're great. I mean, like, and, it, and it's only, you're only investing. The good thing about this series is like, you know, it's a short series. Like you don't have like, there's still the shows that are great, but like eight seasons with like 22 episodes for a season. I don't have patience for that. But with this one is short and sweet. It's like, you're going to binge watch it. I guarantee people will, will binge watch it in one sitting because that's the kind of show it is. And uh, yeah, it's going to, you know, keep you seated to your seat and uh, for a short number of hours, six, five. Well, each episode is very intense. How do you shake off a long day of filming when you have all that adrenaline running through your veins? Well, you go to sleep for many hours. Yeah, there were long hours. The, 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 the least fun part of the whole thing, I'm going to tell you this secretively, it was we had an amazing set because it was real. It was the boat. It was a real boat. But what people are not going to see, it's uh, that we were shooting at like 40 to 45 Celsius down there every day which I think is like 120 Fahrenheit. Uh, the noise was unbearable. The machine, the, like the, the, the engines were so loud, we had to have like those special uh, headsets for everybody because if you were to remove it, you would like be deaf in like half an hour. It was crazy. It was not very comfortable setting, but it looks amazing. So it, it balances up. It balances out. The only problem is that uh, we were so tired by the end of it, so drained with everything, like, you know, sweating and tired and, uh, you know, all this noise, all this distortion in your mind, that it was very little room for socializing, which just went back to the hotel and pass out. And one day after the other. So it's been, it's been quite a, and I think it added for us actors to bring that thing of like, the heaviness of the sea and the boat and the loneliness and the isolation. Uh, we didn't have to work on it. We just lived through it. So, so it's, uh, yeah, it's, it was, it was, it was a great thing. It was a blessing. Now that we're done, it was a blessing, but we had a lot of one anecdote. One, one truck just uh, filled with stuff, just, went up in flames like right by the boat so it was kind of scared that time and yeah i mean there's been a few things happening that it goes into the anecdote book but it was a little <laughs> scary <laughs> those are the days when you uh are, are grateful uh <laughs> and a little bit blessed that this is a shorter series <laughs> yeah. well you know you you are yeah you said it you said it really well i don't think i mean i'm sure we could have but i think it would have made it really complicated to go for like a 10 month season or something like that i i really don't see how we could have pulled that one uh off um the fact that it was two and a half it was just perfect because a little a little over four months i think we would have had to like break in the middle and get some air. What do you think it is then about season two of The Head that's going to make it such a fan favorite or maybe a fan bingeable is what we call it these days yeah. <laughs> series? I think there's an audience for that. I, I was reading uh, stuff about people talking about season one on the ratings season one had like in Rotten Tomatoes and stuff like that. I mean, people that love this genre, they are crazy about it. I mean, they love it and it's really well done. So it's not going to make anybody, I think, uh, disappointed for the genre lovers. For the ones that are not genre lovers, I think it's, as I said, it's very adrenaline filled. Um, you know, there's a lot of twists and turns and stuff like that that people love and i think uh, it's not pretentious i mean it's just a bunch of uh, actors from different countries there's no hardly any names you know so it's not a name kind of show it's like an ensemble piece and i think people are going to like that because sometimes 
like really big names kind of like throw you off a little bit of out of the 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 show because it's based it, it they're so present and it's so recognizable but this yeah we're working actors we're you know some of us have been successful enough to be well known for other people but it's not like we are superstars and i think that that helps uh, in this particular case what it is just good acting all throughout the board with um you know like a very strong ensemble ensemble performance and i think that's what people are gonna like and uh yeah it's all very well leveled the acting the screenwriting the production level uh i i can put my money on it that people are gonna go really really crazy about it and asking for a third season for sure well, you've done some incredible work over the years. What are the other upcoming projects you've got recently going on? Well, there's uh, on the line with Mel Gibson, who just recently, like a couple of weeks ago, uh, was released in movie theaters. Uh, I have I, I just found out that my film with uh, Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler, Murder Mystery 2, will release on March, end of March. I have really high hopes on that one. I have a very good role in it. And it's such a fun movie with those two amazing geniuses, Jen and Adam. And um, what else? And I have some offers on the table that I still have to decide upon because many of them have to do do with like uh, Latin America and Spain. And I have moved to the States. So I want to do more stuff here. Um, So we'll see. We'll see. But that's, the the Jen and Adam film Murder Mystery Two that's the one the big one that is coming up that I'm really looking forward to. Well, you have such a wonderful fan base. What would you like to say to everyone who are fans and supporters of the wonderful work you do on our screens? Well, I love my fans all over across the board across the world. It's incredible how many people write you from places like Indonesia and India and, uh, you know, all Latin America. And I mean, the most unexpected, and I owe it to La Casa de Papel, to Money Heist, but I think it's just becoming more and more about other projects as well. So, you know, people are starting to call me Enrique rather than Arturo, (laughs) which I'm very happy for. Uh, And I just want to keep on doing this kind of amazing work that I've been, that life has offered me all of a sudden in the last five years. And uh, just be very grateful for all those people that are behind it and the, all the people that are supporting it and being a fan of. Uh, I can't say enough words of gratitude to them. Uh, just stick stick in there because a lot of good things are coming from this end of the phone right now. <laughs> and uh, and and I'm, I, I hope I'll, I'll keep having you as fans, not just based upon the show that I did that kind of like granted me celebrity status, which I'm very thankful for, but some other projects that might come along the line. 